I must say that one of the issues that I'm shocked to hear is that writers and creators, producers, are concerned about whether someone may steal an idea or the basics of a project they submit to a studio or other person. I must say that there's some justification for that, and one does have to be careful. But at the same time as you're careful, it's a good idea not to be paranoid about it. On the other hand, we have to remember that just because you're paranoid doesn't mean that somebody isn't out there trying to get you. In this situation, with regard to the submission of projects, one of the first things that should be done is that whatever the project is, it should be filed with the Writers Guild agency, which in effect logs the time of creation of a project which is sent to them. One does not have to be a member of the guild in order to do that. It's a very modest fee. Assuming that's done, you then get into the issue of suppose nonetheless you send a project to a producer, to a, a financier, to a studio, and that studio, having declined the project, later goes on to produce something which is very, very similar, or uh, in effect, a ripoff. This case was, ha this issue was addressed in a case called Disney versus Wilder a number of years ago, as you might guess, in California. Uh, as I remember the facts, Desney submitted a script to Mr. Wilder. The script was declined. Subsequently, it was claimed by Mr. Desney that Mr. Wilder did a project which essentially was somehow a ripoff of what he had submitted. In that case, the court held that when there is a submission in the business context, saying you're not just telling somebody at a cocktail party, hey, I've got a great idea for a picture, but rather, in the business context, you're sending a project to someone that might be interested in financing, producing, or somehow becoming involved that that implies a contract that compensation on a reasonable basis be paid for any transfer of those rights. And therefore, there is a great deal of authority, and it's even gone uh, to the extent of uh, a number of cases following it, uh, where there are conditions, but there is some protection. Uh, one possibility uh, here is uh, that uh, one issue, rather, is that you have to face the fact that in, out of concern that there may be claims of implied contract with submitted projects, some companies, some networks, some studios will require that you sign a so-called submission agreement. These submission agreements are, what shall I say? They can be dangerous. Uh, and what happens is usually some method uh, from the standpoint of the producer has to be obtained to avoid uh, the necessity of signing the submission agreements because they are uh, unfortunately uh, very difficult to cope with and accept. So what often is done is uh, means are found by which there's an avoidance of that. And usually if a project is submitted by an agent, established agent, or by a lawyer, no such submission agreement is going to be required. 